So, my tank had a leak or has a leak, and now well, I'm gonna check the fuel pump. And I got a little hole to look at, it, and this is what I found. This that's a hole right there, rust. And as you can see, things ain't looking so good. There's a hole right there, and the rest looks okay. That has some rust. This side ain't too bad other than that right there. And any tips on what to do? I mean, I know this is unsavable. So sort of this part right there. Anything like that I could do to stop the rust from keeping from growing? I try not to cut the carpet, but as you see, it was bad. So I went to go ahead and cut it anyways. You can tell right there. And this is a sponge and it's all wet because my door has bent a little bit and it has a leak from the roof that I cannot get rid of it. And that's what I have because that leak. And that, the other one is the same. So I'm going to try to do something about it before it gets like that. Because this is bad. I mean, you see how thick the insulation is? This here is dry a little bit. It's not too bad. I hear because it has a leak from the door, so everything comes down here, and this is what I have. That's all. Any tips, please let me know. Anyways, I spray brake cleaner just to try to get rust out of there. Hopefully, I got good enough to get them screws out, six of them, because I won't be able to use them, so I'm gonna have to come up with something to make that. And I hope I can get him out. I didn't get my camera because it's low. I don't have battery. Sorry, dead. I want to wait forever. So, sorry to do it on this. And I'm probably going to get rid of this. I don't need him. Neither do that. And try this. Maybe get a, br a metal brush and get as much rust as I can and paint it with our rust stain. You know what I'm talking about. And hopefully that helps. And try to get rid of the leak. Like, it usually leaks from right there. As you can see, all that's coming down. Because it was parked for a while. And once I fix it, and I should have. And you see my roof right there. I put this aluminum tape that they used to the heater. The way water dog gets in there. But it still gets in there. But the mostly is right there. And I also... Let me see if I can get up here. I put silicone on there, but it didn't stop it. So I put some more right here and up there. So this is my camera. Try to fix it the way it don't get wet. Well, more like for ice, you know, so ice don't get in. So that's what's up. So they're so roasted that I cannot get them out with a regular screwdriver. So I have to cut them, like get my grinder. Cut out of the middle. That way I can get it with a flat screwdriver. Just be careful. Like I said, put this around it. That way sparks don't go on there. Because that won't be good. Because, you see, I have a hole right there. Sparkle on there. And it is leaking. That won't be so good. So I got three out. Three more to go. And hopefully, they come out. They are hard. There you go. Beautiful beautiful anyways yep that's what i done and it's working i mean i'm gonna have to like say i'm gonna have to make something to put out here because this ain't good anymore and hopefully i can fix my leak too and a little bit of this rust and there it is as you can see it's pretty bad that's why one day i use Seventy dollars on gas, and we didn't went that far away. So I just want me. I need to find out where it's coming from. And I got my best thing ready right here. Just cause you never know. I better get it ready, you know. See, I never just one of these, so I'm sure you just. In fire emergency, pull pin to remove. Okay, so I guess 
Oh yeah, pull this pin, I guess, and then pssst, I guess, I guess, hopefully I don't have to use it. And yep, that's what's up. Damn, that's bad. Hopefully I don't have to drop the tank though. I'm scared. I don't like messing with this. I'm so nervous. Anyways, I'm gonna check it out and see what's up. So, there's the issue. Right there. You see? They, they broke. This side is worse. It's already filling up with gasoline. That's playing how that's way so much fuel. So that will be the whole fuel pump. Because I mean, there's no fixing that. Unfortunately, I don't have no fuel pump with me right now. I mean, I can keep using it. That's dangerous. So I'm gonna try to dry it as much as I can. See, already, that's already full right there. Just dry as much as I can. And then maybe put some RTV on it, silicon. I don't know. I gotta do something because I have to have this one to go to work or we'll go out to get the other part, you know. And that's probably gonna that's probably the way she's missing because maybe all the dolls goes back in it. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't cause a fire right now, but that's that's what's up. That's my issue right there. So I'm gonna try to clean it as best I can. Put some silicone on it until I get a part. That sucks. That really sucks. Really does, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to fix something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and figure it out. So a little JB well. That should do the job until I get a new fuel pump. I was gonna use that, but that's not for gas. But if I didn't have that, then I would've used that. But So I use JB well and we see how it goes. I just have to stay in here and moving it up until it dries because it keep on rolling down. And I want it up here. I'm not even sure. Yeah, right there. So we see in about 30 minutes. So since this is unusable, as you can see, it's all rusted. I made this out of the roof metal. I mean, it's not exactly the same. This is a little, maybe, I don't know. I almost know the same. Transmission is the seal right there, but for now I'm gonna see if I can get this seal out, put it on, put it on that one, and put it in there until I, my part gets here. But for now, it is what it is, you know. And that goes, goes like that, and the holes are lined up pretty close, and that should do it. I said, I don't think it's missing is the insulation. I'm trying to get it off because I don't have other one. Put it on the dot and order my parts. And next week I'll change the fuel pump and that. Hopefully the JB well doesn't work and it won't leak no more. I don't have to use 40 every day. And that's about it. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Until next time.